I think we're just at the beginning of actually understanding what a full multimodal model system, uh, how exciting that might be to interact with. And 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 uh, it'll be quite different to, I think, what we're used to today with the chatbots. I think um, uh, uh, the next versions of this over in the next year, 18 months, you know, maybe we'll have some contextual understanding around the environment around you through a camera or whatever it is, a phone. Um, you know, I could imagine that's the next awesome glasses, or the next step. Um, and then I think that, that we'll start up becoming more fluid in understanding oh let's 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 sample from a video let's let's use voice um uh um maybe even eventually things like touch and and you know if you think about robotics and other things uh you know sensors other types of sensors uh, as these systems and, and things like gemini are becoming more multimodal um and we start ingesting things like video and 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 and, and you know audio visual data as well as text data and then you know the system starts correlating those things together um I do that. I think that is a form of uh, of proper grounding, actually. So, so I do think our systems are going to start to understand, you know, the physics of the real world better, where you're starting to learn about what your actions do in the world and um, and how that affects uh, 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 the world itself, but also what next learning episode you're getting. Yeah. So, you know, these RL agents we we've always been working on and pioneered, like Alpha Zero and Alpha Go, they're active learners. What they decide to do next affects what uh, the next learning uh, piece of data or experience they're going to get. So there's this very interesting sort of feedback loop. And of course, if we ever want to be good at things like robotics, we're going to have to understand how to act in the real world. On the robotics subject, uh, Ilya said when he was on the podcast that the reason OpenAI gave up on robotics was because they didn't have enough data in that domain, at least at the time they were pursuing it. Um, uh, I mean, you guys have put out different things like RoboTransformer and other yes. things. How what, what, Do you think that's still a bottleneck for robotics progress? So Ilya's right. That, that is more challenging because of the data problem. Um, but it's also, I think we're starting to see the beginnings of um, these large models being transferable uh, to the robotics regime, learning in the general domain, language domain, and other things, and then just treating tokens like Gatto as any type of token. You know, the token could be an action, it could be a word, it could be uh, part of an image, a pixel, or whatever it is. And that's what I think true multimodality is. And to begin with, it's harder to train a system like that than a straightforward uh, a text a language system. Um, but uh, actually, you know, going back to our early conversation of, of transfer learning, Learning, you start seeing that a true multimodal system, the other modalities benefit uh, some some different modalities. So you get better at language because you you now understand a little bit about video. So um, I do think uh, it's harder to get going, but actually ultimately um, we'll have a more general, more capable system like that.